Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to be covering everything that is in this box right here. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, like, isn't it a gorgeous presentation? Okay, this is from BH Cosmetics. Very uh, affordably priced makeup. This is the Weekend Festival Collection. I have brushes in here. I have an eyeshadow palette in here. And then there are these crazy eye toppers that won't be available until uh, the 20th, but, and I don't even have like a price. Like I have no idea how much they cost. I'm assuming that they're not gonna cost that much because it's BH Cosmetics and everything that they bring out tends to not have a crazy price tag. It is Coachella time. It could not be a better day to film this because it is bright and sunny outside and warm. It is so warm. I just wanna put on a pair of shorts and run around in the sunshine, um, but I'm gonna play with glitter and brightly colored eyeshadow instead and share with you guys my thoughts. I will check in with you all at the end of the day and we will see how this you know, very long wearing festival inspired makeup actually wears because I think if you're gonna go and do a festival or Coachella, you wanna know that it can you know, take the heat that it can wear and look good you know, from afternoon to evening because that's like not the place that you wanna be fussing and touching up your makeup. I did Coachella one time and not to say that like, oh, the one time was enough for me because I think I would love to go again in the future. And the fact that Beyonce is headlining this year makes me just kind of upset that I'm not going. But yeah, the one time it was a thing. Like it's, it's a lot. You're there all day, you're in the sun and you know, hopefully you have a really carefree attitude about it and are not really too focused on your makeup. So long story short, the bright, sparkly, fun makeup that you probably wanna play with at a festival, you need to last. I put them back in the box, full disclosure, but immediately when I got these, I was swatching and so, so amazed by the quality of these waterproof eye lights. This is like, you know, the Stila Magnificent Metal. I actually have one color that's very similar. I wanted to do a side by side and show you guys. This is the closest to that, which is really impressive. And this might even be like a little more glittery. Like it has a little extra sparkle to it. I don't know. I'm kind of really, really into this. So I'm just gonna swatch. Oh yeah, do you see that? Blind did look at that. Holy smokes. So that is the color psych. I did play on the whole matchy matchy thing. I know I'm, I don't know why I do this kind of thing, but I wanted to match my nails and my eyeshadow today. So I do have plans to wear this shade. Do you see my nails? Yes. Beautiful. Magical. This is the KL polish Kathleen lights polish in charmed um, on top of Dream Boy, so I'm wearing these two today. If you were curious, I have a theme going on in my head. Um, let's take a look at the other sparkly highlights that are in here. I have the shade BFF, and you guys can tell me in the comments, what one is your favorite? Like which color out of these just like calls to you? Like what do you go for? Look at that. Don't like it as much as I like this one. Uh, this I love, but it stains the crap out of your hand or Actually, you probably won't be wearing this on your hand. You'll be wearing it on your eyes, which is even worse. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was swatching these and I washed my hands and not only did a little bit of a stain leave behind, but there was like glitter in that one isolated spot, which was really strange to me. I was like, that's kind of weird. You would think that it would wash away as well. And I literally was working out this morning and I had washed my hands and showered and tried to remove it, but it was still there. So that to me screams, hey, this is gonna be super, super long wear. That's what we want, right? But you're gonna need to scrub the eyes. Look at that. So, so mesmerizing. That was the shade Chill Pill. I like them all. This is the shade Gnarly. Look at this. If you could be here like over my shoulder and see me swatching these, you would understand even more. Just like I'm a mermaid. Look at that. All right, so that's gnarly. Then we have fresh, just like gold. I didn't notice that about this one. This has kind of like a lilac iridescent kind of duochrome thing going on in here. Ooh, yes. All right, we have Gal Pal. With the exception of the silver, these all seem to have kind of a duochrome element. So this one is Gal Pal. Ooh, look at that. 
This is the kind of color that I want to look good on me and it just always looks like poop. We have a 10 piece brush set in here. Looks like a pretty uh, decent variety you have going on in here, cute pink handles. These are cruelty free and it is at a $24 price point. Okay, these actually, like they feel good. The handles have almost like a rubberized feeling to them and you gotta love the hot pink, I love that. These are very, very soft. Really nice. Okay, I am going to spot clean these before we get to using them. I am also gonna zoom the camera in a little bit closer. Okay, so the brushes and this guy right here, which we are about to unveil, are available right now. You're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for the eye lights, but we're still gonna play with them anyway. Is this not stunning? I mean, it's very bright, very colorful, but my eye immediately goes to some of these, like this shade right here, this shade right here. I even like the neon green. I just think this is really fun. We'll just see what happens. So I'm gonna scoot you guys closer and we're gonna get to doing a fun little eye look. So this right here seems to be the only crease brush in this kit, which is not enough for me. So I am going to use another brush with it. This is already a drawback. Actually now looking at the brush set, I just feel like there's not enough for me to do the look that I have in mind. So just throwing that out there. All right, drawback number two, there really isn't a soft color to go into your crease uh, and be kind of delicate about it. Screw it, we're gonna go in with Hippie. This could look very bad, just bear with me. Ooh, that is a lot of pigment. Holy smokes, oh my God, that's orange. You guys, I have a weird eye shape to do a lot of this very fun, colorful stuff. Like, I have slightly hooded eyes, but there is a lot of lid space. It's just, I have a weird eye shape to work with. It makes blending a nightmare, but I try. I look like I've lost my mind. Okay, so that actually blended surprisingly well. I'm now gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics crease brush and I am going to take the shade Swag, which I'm thinking is also gonna be super pigmented and bright. And we're just gonna go a lot lower. I'm gonna start on the outer corner. Yep. Okay, this one has a little more fallout. So be careful. I'm surprised that these are actually blending really well. Bright colors sometimes can be a pain in the neck. Now what I wanna do is take the shade Wicked and I wanna put that on the lower lash line, but first I am gonna go in with the orange and this is gonna to look totally insane. I just know it. Cause this guy is so pigmented. Taking a clean brush and I'm really gonna just make sure that this is very, very blended and blown out. I am now gonna go in with a small eyeshadow flat tip brush from Kevin Aquan, and I'm gonna go into Wicked. Beautiful shade right here. I'm gonna start kind of in the center and push it really high up to the lash line. She's experiencing some fallout. Oh shoot, that sucks. Do you guys see this right here? So you will definitely experience a little bit of fallout with this palette. I would encourage you guys to do your eyes before your face. That was my mistake, especially with these brighter colors. I don't really know what I was thinking, but I should have waited to do my face makeup after the eyes because you know, these brighter oranges, these purples, when they fall down on the face, they do disrupt your makeup pretty easily. So heads up to you guys, that does happen. I'm gonna go in with the shade Psych. And I'm gonna try going straight out of the tube just to kind of see what happens. And I plan on taking this eye light just all over the lid. Really pretty. All right, I'm gonna go big and I am going to take Chill Pill and put this on the lower lash line and we'll just pray that this final step does not screw it all up. Okay. I'm totally undecided if I love this or hate this right now. Uh, I love parts of it, but I think a little lash, a little liner are really gonna change the overall feel of it. So I'm gonna pop on some lashes, liner, and I will be right back. Every single time, you guys, lashes, liner, they just transform the whole thing and make it more comfortable to look at because these bright colors were a little bit intimidating and uh, were scaring me just a tiny little bit. So now that I have my lashes on, I do feel like it pulled everything together. And I think this is really pretty. 
I really like it. I actually would wear this, um, I was gonna say like on the weekend going out, but I'd probably just wear this just to wear this just because I think this is really beautiful. Now, obviously the standout to me are these guys right here and just even putting on my makeup and, and realizing that they are just so incredibly budge proof for something so glittery and metallic to be that budge proof is so impressive. I had a very easy time working with them. So that is my favorite at the moment. The brushes, so-so. They're not bad. I'm gonna play with these more. I didn't really get a chance to experience much of the face brushes. So I am gonna give them a try. They are really soft. I just needed more tools to work with all those bright colors as far as the eye look is concerned. The festival palette right here for 20 bucks, I think is a steal. I definitely will continue playing with these. You guys, they are very, very pigmented. I am truly, truly shocked by the pigmentation. Usually with these, you know, brighter shades, they're a little bit dusty, a little bit chalky. They don't have the smoothness and pigmentation in them that you need. The only drawback that I had was it did fluff all over the face. I tried to conceal that with a little more blush, but looking close up, I do see a little bit of blotchiness that is kind of driving me nuts. The next test is to wear this all day long, and then I will sit back down at the very end of the day, and we will see if the glitter has migrated all over the rest of my face, if the color is still as bright. I also have a few items in mind that are dupes for for some of these products, so I will swatch and compare, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, the sun has gone down. I have been wearing my eye look and all of my makeup all day long, and I have my final thoughts for you guys. I am totally blown away. I like really can't even believe it. This might even be working a little bit better for me than my Stila pigments, the Magnificent Metals, which I have a few dupes to share with you really, really quickly before we hop into everything else. The eye lights are just so gorgeous. I cannot wait to do more with these because nothing fell on my face, no glitter is anywhere. From what I can tell right now from the BH Cosmetics is nothing is irritating my eyes with the two colors that I did wear today. I think also they stayed really vibrant, they stayed looking good, they didn't crease, they didn't scratch off, there's just like, nothing bad I can say about these, and I am so excited to try more. But I do wanna show you that there are a couple of colors that are very similar. Um, so from Stila, we have the shade Into the Blue, and if you're looking to save a few bucks and try the BH Cosmetics version, I would recommend checking out Chill Pill. Really, really beautiful. That is what is underneath my eyes right now, and I think it is so super gorgeous. I definitely will be doing this look again. I tried to find a dupe for what is on my lid, which is the shade Psych, and the closest I came was uh, Sunset Cove and Gypsy. So if you've liked either of these, you probably would like this one from BH Cosmetics, and that is what is on my lid here. Uh, what else did I want to say? I'm gonna remind you guys a few times about this because it seems to be the only way that you are going to be served my videos. Even if you are a subscriber, you need to hit the notification bell as well so that YouTube knows that you really wanna see my content and it puts it in your subscription feed. So if you want to see my videos and you don't wanna miss any, then make sure that you hit that bell. I would really appreciate that. I mean, I hope you wanna see my videos. That's why I make them. So anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.